You're watching the Auction Network. Welcome back. I'm Brett Shuckerman with more arcade game blowout. Anyone up for a beer? Maybe a buffalo burger? I know I am. So now we're going to go down to the Golden City Brewery. It's the second largest brewery here in Golden, Colorado, and as the locals tell us, it's their best kept secret. Time to check out the local flavors. We seem to be here in Beer Central. We got the big guys Coors down the street, and right behind me, the Golden City Brewery. We want to take a taste of those local flavors, so we're going to head on in, meet the head brewer, and try out some of their famous ales. This is head brewer Jeff Griffith. He's going to take us on a little tour through the Golden City Brewery. Tell us about the history of this place. Jeff, thanks for taking the time. Let's head on in and check okay. out the tour. Let's go. Okay, this is the, the step one. Um, once we have our grain, we're gonna, we would crush the grain. We would put that crushed grain into this. This is called our mash tun. Add water, hot water, and I'm looking for a temperature in the range of 148 degrees to 152 degrees. That's great. So now we seem to get the first step. Right. Why don't we move on and see what happens next in the process? Okay. This looks like a big old machine you got going on. Yeah, this is this is the brew kettle right here. And this is what we call homebrew on a big ten barrel system. Mm -hmm. And typically within about you know four to eight hours or so, you know, there'll be signs of uh, fermentation going on. And fermentation is the conversion of sugar into uh, CO2 and alcohol. So um, that's what's that's where the yeah. <laughs> is anything uh, going in through any of these right now? Yeah, I actually have um, I have a barley wine right here that's conditioning. It's a sitting down beer because, because what, you won't be standing up very yeah, long. That's what I want so. to hear, absolutely. I think we're going to try that one. Well, I can't say that I'm an expert and ready to do it myself, but I do feel like I'm a little closer. Maybe I could come back and make my own one day. But first, let's go check out all the beer that's finished and ready to go out the door and then taste them ourselves. Do you feel like you know how to taste beer? Uh, I think I might be able to figure that out. You might just show me a thing or two, I'll but I think we can handle it. Yeah, sure. yeah. All right. Let's Come on, let's go. Uh, this right here, this is our walking cooler. This is where our final product all ends up. The beer moves pretty fast here, so. It seems pretty informal in this system here, so if I just kind of grab one and throw it over my shoulders and run out, you guys wouldn't know, right? If you can put one else on your shoulder and run out of here, you're welcome to try. So we're walking out of the cooler right now. I gotta ask you one thing though. Well, why does it say tax paid on the door? Tax paid means that for every keg of beer that's in there, we pay $3.50 to the uh, U.S. government. And, and are you chasing them away, telling them it's already been paid? It's like, go away, don't don't look in here. This is paid already. Right. Nothing to it. see here. Got it. So if I put that on my front door, you think the IRS will leave me alone come next month? You should try that. Yeah, I think I will. There you go. Thank you. I'm gonna have a little chat here with Josh who has told us that he is the tap monkey here at the Golden City Brewery. I like that title. It's a little little fun, a little yeah, different. Yeah, it's a little more friendly than bartender. Now, rumor has it, if it's closing time here, this man right here puts on quite a show. Meant to do that. It's all part of the show. It's beer before breakfast and beer before bed. It's beer when I'm ill or just sick in the head. It quenches my thirst and it fills me with cheer. There's nothing on earth I like better than beer. I'm actually looking for some more of that IPA right there. That's a good beer. Yeah, you, you got good taste. That's your favorite too. Yeah, the problem is it can get you in trouble really fast. So um, uh, you, gotta, you have to mix it up every now and then. So. That's okay, wherever we're going next on the tour is obviously going to be lots of fun. See there, I can't right. even get this sentence out yet. See? Well, Jeff, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. You got some fantastic products and such a cool old world brewery here. It's really been a treat to see it and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much Thanks, for your Brett. time. Don't know where we're going next, but wherever it's going to be, I know I'm going to have fun. Cheers. Cheers. I'm Brett Chuckerman here in Golden, Colorado. We're at the Colorado Railroad Museum now. We're gonna get a look at some of the old historic trains that were first running through the state of Colorado. Let's go check them out. I'm Kelvin. Hi, Kelvin, how are you doing? I'm Brett Chuckerman. Nice to meet you, Brett. Thank you, same to you. Now we're here with Kelvin Haar. He's gonna give us a tour of the museum, show us some of the old locomotives. Now, the museum is, is open year-round, correct? We're closed two days a year, Thanksgiving and Christmas. You guys are like the postal service of museums. Yeah, but we don't get as many holidays. <laughs> now, it seems like it's, it's, in a way, a sort of family establishment. All of you guys who have been here doing this have a passion for it. Yeah, I think everybody here uh, has trains in their blood. Model trains are God's way of keeping old men out of bars. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this. The Garden Railway was 
put in by the Denver Garden Railway Society and it represents typical rolling stock for Colorado Railroad. The buildings are the same as you would see uh, in an old Colorado town. Mines, coal chutes, oil derrick, a little bit of everything. Uh, just typical of Colorado Railroad. And the trains themselves, are any of those specific of some of the historical trains you have here at the museum? Yes, the one running on the outside loop here with the silver cars is uh, a very good model of the California Zephyr that ran up through the 50s and 60s. Now California Zephyr, does that, did it run from Colorado to California? It ran from Chicago to San Francisco. I grew up on the railroad and I'm still here. Don't know what I want to be when I grow up. So this has been a fascinating day. Thank you so much, Conductor Kelvin. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I hope everybody comes and enjoys the museum as much as I do. Come check out the Colorado Railway Museum. We had a great time. All right, all aboard. Well, that about wraps things up for us here in Colorado. I'm Brett Chuckerman. Thanks for joining us for the Arcade Game Blowout. Hope you had as much fun as we did. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.